And good afternoon. It's a pleasure. Uh, really exciting today. Uh, indeed, and Virgin Galactic uh, stock trading uh, up both Friday and today off the back of this. Do you, do you believe the projections that they will make commercial space flight uh, a reality for, for many travelers by next year? Well, this was the whole purpose of the XPRIZE Foundation's original XPRIZE, $10 million for the first privately uh, built spaceship in Virgin Galactic as a result of Spaceship One. And that was the mission, uh, you know, to drive the regulations to change, bring capital in, and open up private space flight for everybody. Uh, and, you know, Virgin Galactic's seat price is something that a lot of people can afford. And so, you know, rather than just uh, a couple of people privately per year, uh, we hopefully will see hundreds, eventually thousands going. You know, Peter, obviously there's a lot of interest in this area. It's very exciting for a lot of reasons, science and otherwise. But are these companies truly investable companies for most people? So people invest for different reasons, right? You invest because you want to be part of the adventure and you invest because you want the value of your investment to go up. I think everything we hold of value on Earth, metals, minerals, energy, real estate, are near infinite quantities in space, right? I truly believe the next trillionaires will be made there as we go for these resources. It's the early days. It's the equivalent of the pioneers coming to the Americas and looking for business opportunities, and whether it's you know, the equivalent of land or tobacco or lumber. Uh, these are, you know, for me, the earliest elements of space are going to be tourism. Uh, those of us, like myself, who grew up in the 60s, passionate about opening up the space frontier are going to have a chance to go and do it ourselves. So, uh, you know, one of my companies, Zero G, did weightless flights. We took Stephen Hawking up. But the idea of actually going into space is what Virgin Galactic holds the promise for. And so that's, that's what's exciting. And I think, uh, I think there are millions of people who would love to have that adventure. And the price is, you know, within reach and will hopefully come down over time as we fly more and more. And then you'll have other companies, SpaceX, Blue Origin, and others that begin. But I do believe that, uh, that Virgin Galactic will be the first to fly people. I've got my ticket. I'm excited to go.